Yo everyone, what up? Welcome back to Top T Arcade. My name is Steve, and we're back in the spare bedroom where we're currently housing the Swords of Fury pinball machine. This is going to be part three of the restore, and hopefully the last. So let's get to it. I've already taken the back glass off and the play field or the glass. Um, we're going to be taking off the plastics. I'm going to be uh, not stripping the play field, but I'm going to do them in sections. I think I'm going to go uh, remove plastics first. I'm going to clean them. I'm going to use the Gojo. Uh, this has been actually really good already. I used it on, on the, the tip here, the plunger tip, and it was very dirty. Obviously a lot of, a lot of ball wear and I, you know, I just rubbed it and then um, I took, I rubbed it under like a, um, with a cloth and I do have my cloths here, my microfibers and, um, and, and it turned out amazing. So it does work. I'm going to use this on the play field, I'm going to use this on the plastics, I'm going to use this pretty much everywhere. Make sure it's off because <clears throat> it does have a slick residue, um, but it's a nice finish and it's very safe. Um, not only that, but what I'm also going to do is I have, um, I'm going to just get my stuff together. I have a pinball wax that I'm, I've never used before, I'm going to do it at the very end to make sure that it's a nice gloss so it reflects and it's really bright. I'm going to bring you in. I'm going to bring you in, and here's what, uh, again, beautiful going door. It looks great. What I'm going to do, um, I'm going to put the, um, what's it called? The, uh, what's it called back? Um, the scoring rules and all that. I'm going to take the uh, this off the flippers, so you can tell they're dirty. Clean it with the Gojo. And I'm going to do, I'm going to do it in sections. So I'll, um, again, the back is done. All I'm going to do is uh, start taking everything apart. I'll just give you updates where I am. I think I'll go, I'll, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take a few of the plastics off. That, that's an actual, um, that's an actual keychain that came with a plastic set. That's not gonna be on the, on the play field at all. Um, and then I'm gonna start to uh, probably take the ramp off and then clean anything under there and then also replace any of the GI because that was the most important thing is I'm going to take, um, I'm going to take, these are from um, Insane Brights from Comet, again, uh, and then I'm going to use these strips right here in the back, and I'm going to go one here, one there, they're frosted, so just to really illuminate the back, and again, just clean it, and then uh, I'm going to take this off, I have a new one, I know I'm balancing you guys everywhere. Um, I'm going to do, there's one right there, brand new ramp. And uh, I'm going to just start to kind of go at it, you know, get at it, unscrew it, start to uh, take everything apart, take the ram, all the plastics. I'm going to put there on my turtles I'm using as almost like a bed. And I'm going to put all the plastics here in the material. This is just on a regular shower uh, blanket. So um, I'm going to get started. I'm going to be back and forth. Uh, coming back and forth just to show you the progress, how much, um, how much um, um, like cleaning was done, and then also later on. So the two things up the wire up are these. Or they go into the 6.3 volt that goes into like a regular like light or uh, GI, I should say, and then these two are gonna also go into a regular GI, and I'm gonna put them right here right there so I'm gonna point them out similar like I did the turtles really brighten it up to to show it so it's tedious it's a lot of work again I'm gonna do this in sections so if I look different and I've shaved or have my glasses on or what I'm wearing it's only because I'm cutting in because I don't want to make the video too long and this intro is already too long so now that I've explained the game plan I'm gonna just cut in and out like I did last video here's what I've done here's what I'm doing hopefully the end result and we'll go from there all right, all right, let me give you an update. So, um, this Gojo is working amazing. I'm going to show you, I'm going to remove a, um, I'm going to remove a plastic in a second. So, here's what I've done. Um, you see how dirty this is? I'm going to, I'll have uh, Mary film. I'll show you how, uh, how clean this gets in just a second. So, you just rub it, the Gojo with it like this on it, like this. And then you just uh, hot, hot, just hot water, really quick. Wipe it, and then quickly dry it. Oh my God! Look how nice these came out. Look at it so far. This is just 
dust. Because <laughs> I had the rag. Look at these. The, this was, these were all disgustingly dirty. Beautiful. Uh, look, they, they look brand new. So what I've done, uh, took, uh, took this off, cleaned under it with a Gojo. So just took the um, uh, microfiber. It was pretty clean, but I uh, did that. There's metal under there. I polished it using the, what I used for the polish in the last video, the uh, Peak. Okay. So did that, uh, polished that. Again, there's dust because... Um, there's dust. I have to clean that. I'm going to just clean all this. Maybe I'll even paint that. No, no, no. I actually like the, the thing. The texture. I'm going to clean this. It's still d dusty. Anyway, so uh, this part is done. So here is done. I haven't done that yet. So clean the posts. Clean everything. Plastics are tighten everything down. They're very loose. Uh, taking a little longer. As you can see, that's the new LEDs. Uh, what I've done here is I've painted here because this was all worn. I've painted that. I was actually going to put a cliffy, but I'm thinking, you know what? No. Um, what I'm going to do is I've painted all up in there. You see how further down? Now, normally, I might even take the upper play field off, but again, you don't see it. So what I might do is just get the... Yeah, you can see it in there. But you know, when you're staying here, you can't really see. Like, that's the standing position. So maybe I'll just go in there with a paintbrush and go another inch, uh, but an inch and a half. That's kind of the lazy way, but um, then I'm going to put a uh, ball uh, mylar here because it drops, and that's where it drops often. And then what I want to do is put mylar over the paint. I have little squares, which are right here. Shit, do I have enough? Um, there, and then I'm going to get that. I'm going to cut them. I'm going to cut, and then I'm going to just put them right there. It's a bad angle. Now uh, that looks actually, I'm telling you, that acrylic matches very well. Again, I'm not done. I know I, like, I only did one coat. Um, I'm going to do that and then just wipe it down again. You can't really see when you're standing here. You can't really see up there. But now that I look with you guys, you can see it. So I'm going to go another inch and uh, paint thought all black so you can't see it. Play field looks good. You can't see under it. What well, difference does it really make? I know it'd be good to tear everything apart, but I don't want to. Um, this ball guide here, or this ball trace here, um, I'm going to see how much of these little mylar things I have. I thought I ordered 20. Did I use them? What would I use them for? I don't know. I can't remember. Anyways, no, no, I think I have more. I don't know where I put them. Um, anyway, so it's going really well. Let me plug this in and I'll show you how much brighter it is. It is definitely... So these are way brighter than before. Obviously, you have the light on, so that's kind of cheating. But uh, under here, they're insane brights. Um, these are brighter. I've just cleaned the plastics with the Gojo as well. And so far, so good. I'm doing a little of the touch-ups down. I hope I have more of those Mylar. I'm going to do this as well. I've just painted, uh, you see, the Advanced. I'm going to just paint around that. Uh, or even with the Sharpie, I've cleaned that. I've just painted that as well. Again, from here, I'm going to put Milo. You can't really see over it. So painted that. Just touching up little things because uh, up here looks good. And then later on, uh, later on, I'm going to get to uh, the upper play field. So <clears throat> before I, um, I, I'm going to finish today, I'm going to just uh, paint that. And then that's good enough The one coat. I'm going to just let it dry overnight. Then I'm going to start. Maybe I'll finish this one. Um... I don't know. I mean, anyways, look. Look how dirty that is. Right there. Look how clean that is. Gojo works amazing. Tucky was right. I got that from Todd. Uh, we talked when I, for, when I met him and then online when I called him. I was just telling him about this was a year ago. And he goes, yeah, we use it. It's an, like an automotive trick that uh, they used to use for over... They've been using it for 30 years and never hurts the play field. And it doesn't stink, and it and it's not abrasive, and uh, he's right so far. Really good. It's pretty cheap. Five dollars a thing. I got them on Amazon. I got look at how many I got. I got a whole case because it was fifty dollars for the whole case because I couldn't buy them individually. I don't know why. Something about shipping in Canada. Anyways, I'm rambling. So so far so good, as you can tell. I can, the plastics are not even that. Uh, um, not that bad. Again, I have the light on, so you can't really. 
tell. But you know what? It's uh, it's coming off nice. Once I add new lights and uh, paint a little and cover it with mylar and polish it up. Yes, it's not a hundred percent play feel, but it doesn't uh, bother me. It's uh, you know it's a good eighty five percent, and I'm good with that. Later on, uh, again, we're gonna move this over. I'm just moving this now, just to give you an update. It's working well. These uh, lights are really bright, so great on that. Really gives it another 20% glow. I'm going to um, close the, or put the back glass on and see how much different it is compared to these plastics. You know, to obviously this one here, which is the old one. Excuse me, not plastics, lights. As you can tell, that was the old, that was the old uh, um, uh, Comet, and then these are the new ones. Really bright, insane bright. Again, another 20% would really help this go a long way. So I'll be back. Um, All right, so we're in my bathroom. My wife's uh, recording. I'm going to take some Gojo here. So there it is. Look how dirty this plastic is, or the rubber. I'm going to just use it like this. Oh, shoot. I have a, um, I have a toothbrush, but it don't, I don't even need it. Like, I have a toothbrush here, and I don't even need it. You just keep doing this. And look at that. Because these are uh, these are older. Look at this. Look. Look at the dirt. Look at the dirt between my hands. So I've just done that. Quick wash with hot water. Now I know it's rubber, so I know that you don't want to get it too wet. Okay. I'll just use toilet paper for now, but. Mary, follow me. Follow me for a second, but and uh, yeah. so once you just rinse this off. Here, let's put it on the where I just got it. Look at that. Now I do have a toothbrush that maybe I'll just go over it again just for demonstration purposes. But look at that. Can you see it? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It doesn't sting. Smell it. Doesn't really smell like anything. That's it. So that stuff works beautifully. And uh, that's it. So I'll be back tomorrow. I'm going to continue this. And, um, and uh, we'll go on from there. Really quick before I button up for the day. That's uh, the bottom. As you can see, these uh, super brights are doing a great job. Really adding more light to it. And uh, like I said, once I put these spotlights in, there's going to be one and then one. Well, mind you, there's extra light because the top there is uh, right there. So it looks more brighter than it really is. But those uh, super brights really made a great job. And I'm going to have two spotlights again right there and there. Really brighten it up and then have the two um, um, frosted strips there. To really brighten it up so it uh, it's vibrant. Actually, I can't really wait. It's exciting. Look how clean those are. Beautiful. Everything looks polished. Whites on white. Look how nice that looks. So very excited. So far, so good. It's going well. Oh, I did paint. See, I painted up in up in there. I mean, it doesn't help with the glass. Remember last time you can see a little thing. So I painted up in there. Um, I'm gonna put a cut again. A couple of mylar strips. Which I hope that's twenty. Where the hell did I do with them? Anyways, um, put them up in there, and uh, so that's covered, and then actually, uh, if you remember, that was, um, I touched up there. See, I know you can see it there, but uh, when I put the um, plastic on, it'll kind of make it look all the same. This way, the mylar, paint that so the 200 doesn't look all scratched up. So, so far, so good. I'm actually liking it. Uh, look how bright that is. At least 20% brighter. Looks awesome. Maybe even 30%. Look at that. Now it's reflecting off that because I did um, polish that. So that's exciting. Okay. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. I'm back. It's the next day. I'm gonna, I've started to... Um, I've done this part. So I'm done here and down. Very bright. I added the, um, there, the mylar there over it. Now what I've decided really quick... I had to kind of angle it because that's where the paint was. I actually... I was stupid. I painted this all black and there should be like that there should be a rim to it what i've decided is instead of taking it out because uh, it was too dark i'm gonna end up getting a one cliffy protector for the uh the lane so when i get a new it's gonna be later on 
I'll get a coiffy protector, put it there to match all the chrome. So it kind of looks cool because it's a very uh, low used place. That's where the um, the ball, uh, like the multi ball um, ball locks are. So that goes there. So I've just cleaned it up. I'm found. I'm finding out that this ramp is so extensive. I mean, here's under the ramp. Uh, first of all, they have riv rivets. They don't have screws. Here's the replacement ramp that uh, it doesn't have the epoxy there. If you're asking, well, Steve, why are you going to change it? Look at all this. Shit. It's, uh, it's pretty extensive. Now, obviously, I don't mind, like, doing a tear down here, but the problem is these are riveted in. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I mean, I guess I can use screws, like little screws instead, but these are almost, is that riveted in? Shit. Yeah, these is all these are all riveted in. Um Huh, well, we've paused. What I might do um No, if I'm already here. What I was going to do is maybe I was going to put this back and work on this the ever play field uh and just wipe down that and all the plastics, but at this point, I really want to get to the ramp. But how the hell am I going to do that because now there's rivets here in there instead of screws. Do I have small screws? How many will I need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We'll say fifteen more. No, because the plastics are on. No, that's on screws. Or rivets as well. Shit. No. Um, not good. It's not the end of the world, but it's annoying because shit. Look how extensive this ramp is. Now, again, the only reason I'm getting rid, I want to get rid of it is because it has this like epoxy thing there and it won't, this won't go in there. It won't go under the second thing. So it doesn't play right. That's the only reason I'm doing it. If not, I would sell it. So I've kind of hit a block here. <sighs> um, I'm indeed. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, again, it's not that it's hard, but shit, even the metal is riveted. Damn it. Um, I don't know. I don't want to leave it because it won't... Like, again, this one is doesn't have that epoxy thing where or whatever it is because it won't go in. It won't go in that second hole because that it, it pushes it. Cause then, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, you know what? Maybe, maybe just to kind of get, maybe just to kind of get moving, and not to hum and ha all the time. What I might do right now is I'm gonna just put this back, replace. I'm gonna okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna replace all the uh, GI. So I'm gonna replace the LEDs. That's 100 percent. That's first. Then I'm going to do that first and then wipe down the plastics. And then I'm going to do the upper play field. So the last thing I'm going to have to do is the ramp. Everything else will be done. And then I'm going to decide on how I'm going to do this. Um, because again, shit, even the, even the, um, the plastics are riveted in. I'll be back. I'll see what uh, we're going to do. Okay, so, so on we go. Um, I got a little flustered when I hit the ramp just because um, it's not that it's hard to dis disassemble, but I don't have those rivets and it's uh, worrying me a little. So I don't know. The only reason I want to change the ramp is because of this. And I'm wondering, is this, I mean, you can't really see it, honestly. So it doesn't even bother me, the aesthetics. And I'm wondering, is it not working? Does Because I can't get it down this hole. I don't know if it's more my skill. Um, I don't know. Anyways, um, everything else has gone very nice. You know, uh, nice and bright under there now. Um, the There was actually a light out, believe it or not. I was, uh, something's up with the socket. Nice and bright, nice and clean. I've cleaned all the, look at all the rubbers, look beautiful. Nice brevity there. I've cleaned the, um, the lower play fields all clean and done. Come on this side. Again, brand new. Shit. 
brand new plastics. I mean, excuse me, brand new, uh, or no, uh, clean rubbers, I should say. So everything looks great. I mean, I do, I did uh, knock down accidentally. Remember those uh, orange drop targets? I'm gonna have to get to those. I'm gonna do that probably one of the last things, only because I want to get everything working electronically. So the good news is I'm done everything I wanted to do. I thought the ramp would have been way easier and um, it's not. So, um, I'm kind of stuck now. I don't know if I'm going to just clean the, I mean, there is some rust on the ramp. I wanted to check. I mean, now obviously Adriano got it. Um, you know, obviously he got, um, he obviously got a new ramp because he wanted I remember he wanted to do a full restore, but I may have to get his advice on uh, doing this. I mean, it's not beyond me. I can do it. But again, even the plastics have rivets. So I'm going to ask him, I'm going to just ask him truthfully, has he ever got it in this? Again, that doesn't bother me. You can't even see that look like that. You can't even see it. It's only if you're like, um, it doesn't ruin gameplay, I think, because if it goes down here, because I've never got it down. So this ramp would come down here. And then it would go in the um, the ball lock. So I don't know if it's a skill thing. I'm going to message Adrian Arno and ask him if he ever got it in there. Or maybe even look at gameplay. That's a good idea. I'll look at gameplay on YouTube and see um, maybe how to get it down there. Because maybe I, I don't know how. And if, if it does go down and maybe I'm just saying, oh, I'll, then no problem. I'll just clean the ramp. Um, and then I'll just, I don't know how I'm going to clean the metal. Um, I'll figure it out. And that's it. And then, um, you know, add the LED. So I will, um, I'll be back. I don't know what I'm going to do next. I mean, I'll figure out either, um, I, you know, what I'm going to do. So the good news is, I mean, we're almost done. I do, I see it stopped me now because I wanted to do a little touch up here with paint, but I'm going to just wait because I don't want to get overwhelmed. I know that's a terrible way to hold it, but it's secure. I do have to do the two spotlights. And I do have to do the uh, the strips here. Even with the ramp on, I can put the strips. I mean, it would be smart to do it, right? Without, because it's so much room. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll just, um... damn it. As soon as, you know what? I, I get like that because my game plan is do exactly what I wanted to do. And then as soon as something gets interrupted, it, it ruins my momentum. So what I might do while I have the ramp off um, and when I come tomorrow, I think I'm going to um, first start and do the LED light and the the two frosted there. So get those working and then maybe do the lights here so electronically I'd be finished. The only thing would be left to do is uh, replace those stickers on the drop targets. And then I don't know, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do with this ramp. Because if I can clean that up and then it's just me, then later on I would sell this ramp to someone if they need it along with the plastic. So we're getting there. I mean, so um, I thought I would finish in two days or three days. I'm naive uh, thinking that everything's going to go smoothly. I don't know why. It never does. But that's pinball, baby. So and you know what? The good thing is I learn every day. So I've learned a little techniques. I'm doing it quickly and I'm doing it efficiently. It's just that I get flustered easily. And it's really looking like it's nice and bright. It's nice and polished. You know, the Gojo is a lifesaver. And uh, we're there. We're, we're almost there. But again, it's these little things that have got me. Now I was thinking of even cleaning um, the ball um, uh, shooter lane or whatever this is. I was thinking of cleaning that too. Maybe taking light grit sandpaper. The problem is then I'd have to clear coat it, wouldn't I? I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to get some, uh, I'm going to get an opinion on that. Maybe I'll, uh, I don't know. Anyways, I don't want to... Um, uh, ramble I'm sorry it just that again as soon as something's in my head I mean we're, we're almost there so I'll be back and uh, we'll see what we're gonna do next all right we're back another day all right let's continue this so I've decided I talked to Adrian yesterday and um, he was giving me some tips about the ramp and he goes it's a it is a lot of work you'd have to be skilled how to you have to drummel out these um, 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 what are they called? The notches, or what are they called now? The rivets, rivets. You have to like drill them out, uh, <clears throat> and then to do it. But you know what? It's a lot of work. I don't have the tool, um, and I don't have the skill set. The truth, because I don't know it. 
and but I don't even have the tool. I don't know how to work it. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna clean up the ramp. Again, yes, obviously you're like, Steve, what do you mean? I can see that. When the, the based on the angle, it's like here, you can't see anything. Honestly, it doesn't really bother me. You can't even see it, especially because it's the dark part of the play field, so you can't see it. I don't mind. So what I'm doing now to clean up the ramp, because I want to kind of get going on this, is I'm using just uh, pure white vinegar. Um, and I am just got a Q-tip. And this was the uh, the metal part of the ramp. And what I'm doing there, obviously you can see it's getting oxidized. Where is that? Uh, right there. I'm sorry, I'm one-handing this brutally. Ugh, stupid. Anyways, obviously it looks kind of dingy there. I'm, I'm doing it as we speak. I'm going to um, just keep using this. You can see there's a lot of dirt, just the vinegar to just kill that, um, the, uh, uh, the rust and it's working because it was a little rusty. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to do that. Look at that. Brutal. Sorry. I'm going to polish. I'm going to do that. I'm going to then polish this part because you can see that polish that with the, this, the peak as I do in all of them, uh, put the ramp back and that's pretty much that. And then I'm going to put the uh, two LED strips and then the two um, spotlights and then we'd be done. Other than a little touch-ups here and there, I do have to put, oh no, I'm wrong. Because I do have to later on put the those, which I have right there. Right there. And then I wanna put on the plastic, <laughs> I wanna put on the plastic, you know, that goes here to the keychain, the sword right there, it looks kinda cool. Um, and then also maybe clean up this ball lane thing and then also put in uh, the the bubble the um, for the pitch. All right, so I'll be back. I'll let you know what it looks like once I button this up and um, or maybe when I finish doing the uh, the extra lights. Okay, quick update. So this took longer than I thought because um, I wanted to polish anything up. Look how nice the uh, the metal was. Again, you can still see a little staining from the um, uh, uh, rust, but that really came out shiny. It looks really, really nice. So all I did is took pure white vinegar, took a Q-tip, rubbed it all across the thing, uh, did it three or four times, and then left almost like a tarnish. And then I took that peak, rubbed it, rubbed it, rubbed it. Took a little while. It was awkward because it's a weird position. Now it's uh, it's uh, glistening. It looks um, and really shiny. It looks nice. Ramp was a little annoying to put back. So far it works well. So the game is put back together. Now all I have to do in the next episode tomorrow is I'm going to, or not next episode, next part, I'm going to uh, add the LED strips, boom, boom, and then solder, solder them in, and then do these, one, one, solder them, and then little, again, come back for little things later on. But we're almost there. It looks good. It plays pretty good. Again, I only played it for a few minutes because it's uh, late. Uh, but so far, so good. Let me see what it looks like with the lights on. Well, it's again, it's not fair because I have the light on, but I'm trying to turn it off. That's it. So I'm covering the light, but uh, it looks really nice, really clean. I still have to polish it, but you know, look at all that extra brightness. Well, stupid me. I mean, there's no glass, but uh, it looks okay. That's me just doing the light, but it looks, it's nice and bright. Um, I admittingly, I rushed a little on adding. Actually, it doesn't look too bad because all I did was added exactly where the um uh where the wear was and um but i had to angle it a little just because it was hard to get in again i was a little lazy i could have taken the whole play field off but honestly i'm, I'm I, no i don't want to and it's, but it looks okay you can barely see it anyways and it's protecting and that's the most important so it's looking really good really shiny really clean um i'm almost there and then uh yeah we'll go from there okay i'll be back tomorrow we'll install those lights finally i know i've been saying it forever all right, all right, another <clears throat> another day. So, uh, great news so far, so good. Um, I've hooked up the spotlight. So what I've done is I pre I pre did them. I'm soldering jobs not the greatest, but I tied them down. So I just put them there. This wire goes under here, and it's tied to uh, right here. Getting a little tough with my soldering, but it works. I mean, not the greatest soldering job, but no one can see it. It's secure and not uh, shorting anything. And then here's the second side, pointing a little differently. This one is going more this way. I'll show you in a moment. And uh, it's tied. That one was a nice one. I actually did that pretty nice. This one it was, 
I don't know. I screwed it up. Anyways, it works. All right, let me turn it on. So boom, there's the spotlight there. Big, you see, see the light? Camera. You see how it almost looks like a butt? Like it looks like an ass right there? That's from here. Great light. And then that's from there. So those work really well. It's really bright now. Lastly, we're going to hit the back. Um, I've, oh, you know what I've also done? You see these, uh, these three times? I lit them with super brights because they're super dull and you weren't able to see them. Everything else looks good. It was just those ones that look brutal. So those super brights really, really stand out now. Nice, because before they were very dull. Kind of similar to that one here, the thousand point. But everything else looks bright. I'm not going to change all of them. There's no need. The LEDs that were in there were from Comet. But again, I'm just doing the uh, GI and again, a few here and there. Really, these were dim, so that, that looks great. So I'm happy with that. Uh, those three uh, red lights, I've used the same here. Uh, I had a few extras. They look, they're brighter again by a good 20%. Look at that reflection. Every little count. So now I'll jump back. Here's what I'm going to do. Here's the game plan. So here's the two strips. I took extra wire because I guess these System 11s, they're tough to get. You can't, as far as I know, bring, they're on hinges right there. My other turtles, I can bring the whole thing up and back like that. This one has um, the kickstand. So I didn't want to go in there and, you know, screw around because I can't get to it, especially with one hand. A good thing I bought this. So these are for this. They're just extenders. You see these little clips Whoop, that goes in and then I'll bring it and I'll put it uh, to another GI, not the same one. I'll probably put it to uh, one here. Where is it? Maybe one. Nah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Either way, I'm going to put it to one of the GIs here. And that's it. And then I'll be back to show you guys. So far, so good. All right. <clears throat> it's been about an hour. Took my time. And it uh, looks great. So what I, I purposely... See, I ha at first I had them higher. So you can actually see them. Then I'm like, you know what? No. So I'd rather have them... I, I lifted that one a little more because it's closer to the ramp. That one already has enough light. So I tucked it a little behind. As you can see there. So yeah, both are... Um, uh, they're frosted. I didn't want it to be too overwhelming. Uh, let me show you how... Ooh, can I do this one-handed? Okay. Let me show you where I tied them in. So you see this, this line here, this red one, whoop, all the way, right there, tied it to the GI. That was a nice uh, solder. Well, it looks, whatever. <laughs> and then this one, whoop, all the way, tied it in. And then I put on that GI right there, nice and neat. I had to, I put a little wire tie there so it doesn't uh, trip up on any uh, um, uh, switch. And right there, looks great. So let me. Uh, I'm gonna put. Okay, so what's left? I still have to do these. I still have to do the targets. I think I'm okay for today. I think I'm done for today. Uh, I did the kind of hard part. I've never, um, I never replaced. Obviously, ah, shit. So what I want, nah. <laughs> what I want to do is um, take those off, but I don't want to do the leg work and take the whole mech off. Um, I was looking online, and I'm like, you know what? I don't. Uh, I don't want to take the whole mech off. I know that's kind of lazy of me, but shit. And then all I'd have to do is just, with the scissors, boom, cut it. One, two, what is it, two, four, five. And that's it. Um, other thing, other only other thing I have is to put that plastic here. And then the, um, the bubble level. And I'm done. I mean, there's little bits and little, uh, little things I have to do. Um, I have to, again, uh, right here, I have to put the stickers, little things I have to do uh, in the coin. Right there, I have to get the uh, the bracket so then the coin bucket sits properly. Little little silly things that I'm going to order if I go to Allentown <coughs> and get it. <clears throat> I'm going to also do um, a little touch-up with paint. So I'm going to do this here. I'm going to do it later. I'm going to just take it one step at a time, not that the hard part's done. 
And I'm going to um, paint it and then put the, you know, that Mylar sticker, the ones I put there. Put them over like one, two. I think that's all. And that's it. I'm done. That's weird. Why are those dim? Would that affect it? Sometimes it does that, they dim, like even this one. Does it have to maybe warm up? Does that sound right? I don't know. All right, another day. Um, I was talking to Doug. Remember I showed you guys at the end the lights on this side were dim? He was telling me it's prob probably a loose solder connection. Um, a loose solder connection or, remember I was soldering the new spotlights? Maybe it's a, um, a, a, a poor connection or a loose solder or a cold solder joint or something because um, obviously those lights... Now, back here, it looks fine. I mean, mind you, this light... Is this light on? No, it's not. You can't really even tell from here, but anyways. Now, here's what I've done. Sorry for the uh, delay. Um, I've installed the... Again, it's the keychain. So this is leading up kind of, you know... Um, uh, of the shooting lane, I cleaned it as much as I could. Uh, it's tough in there. I used a little sandpaper. I used um, the Gojo and some uh, nail polish remover to really get a lot of the uh, the stain out. And that's the strongest I could for now. Uh, anyways, but it looks okay. Um, you can barely see it. And then I've added the bubble. And I've added... I know it's cheesy. I get it. I got this... Um, that idea and even the lights from um a gentleman on uh on uh pin side who did a similar mod i liked it i thought it was kind of you know it's kind of cool i added um a washer under and above so it, it doesn't it doesn't become flimsy i've been testing it so far it's good um it doesn't interfere with the ball the bubble's there so we're just about done uh only thing i have left to do is this so when I come back, I'm going to just, uh, I have to just do the targets. Um, add five pieces. Do I leave? Nah. I'll might as well, no, I'm going to replace all. Uh, do the five pieces. Fix the light and why they're dim. Uh, again, other than little things, stickers, whatever, we're done. We're done the restore. I have to polish it though. Now, I've been using a lot of cloths and whatever, and there's a lot of dust. You see that? There's a lot of dust. That comes up, and as you can see, I can clean it off. So I'm gonna and once I polish it, we're done. We can actually maybe play a game, and go from there. And this has been a pretty successful in, um, restore so far. Learning a little as I go. Every every restore, a little little, uh, I learn a little more and a little more. Um, that's it. I'll be back, and hopefully we'll be done that. And I'm gonna show you guys a quick polish. And uh, we are done. All right, we're in the home stretch. So uh, it's the next day. Uh, very actually, I was intimidated to take off this whole mech. It's only four screws. It's right there. One, two. Uh, where am I? Three, four. Hands in the way. Right there. Uh, this is a little dirty. That's it. I'm gonna just literally uh, peel this away, and then exactly how it is now. Cut it. Put them back. Clean it a little. Put it back in and we're done. Hopefully it's that easy. You already know, right? Something always screws up. And um, I'll let you know what else uh, I've just done in the last uh, few minutes just to touch up a few things. All right. <clears throat> Took a little long, a little annoying. It's on there. But uh, what I did is I uh, peeled them off. I used some Goo Gone. I've just put it away and just did this, scraped it and wiped them clean. So all of them are ready for the application of the new stickers. So what I just did is... Um, Taken one that I've shaped and uh, tested it on the, you know, put it beside the plastic and then times the, how many are there, five? Two, four, five, yeah. And then that's it, times it by five. I still have so many left. I have pretty much <clears throat> nine and uh, a fourth. So, a great buy so far. Hopefully these stick and work well. I'll be back uh, when it's all buttoned up and I'll show you and uh, we'll see it working. All right, so it's been a few hours, and let's do the big reveal. So as you can tell, this is a culmination of a few videos here. Um, some good work, and it's been very actually satisfying. Front door looks great. Uh, so 
um, you know, repainted, got the plunger back, as you can see, the sticker looks good. I put back the laminated uh, scoring cards going up again. I readjusted that, it wasn't straight, so now that's straight, has the bubble. Um, I, I um, painted over, now it looks more evident when it's there, so I used Mylar, I painted over that. It doesn't look as evident when you're playing. So I covered that and I did some touch-ups. Uh, ah, I did the back. That was actually a lot smoother and easier. Look at that, look how beautiful they look. Beautiful, shiny, brand new stickers. Play great, drop, drop targets work. Um, buttons are working that are lit. Speakers that are lit. High, uh, high intensity on the back glass. Uh, everything's clear. I've, I've uh, polished the play field. Replace some lights, it plays great, and I'm very happy for it. So, let me set you up, it's been a success. Actually, you know what, let me just do this live. It's been a great, um, a great restore. Alright guys, so thanks for ch checking out Top Tier and taking this journey with me. What a great restore, I learned a lot, blew a fuse, screwed up our little things, but it wasn't too, um, too drastic. Restore went great as you can see it's beautiful. The only thing I left to do is on one of the the ogre valley it's scraped off. Um, one day I'm going to see if I can print a clear mylar and just put it over so it looks like it's one piece. That's one. Um, I know TNT and Todd sells even though the button the battery's off the board he sells and Frank um, one of his staff members made a button cell battery that I have for my turtles that I want to install as well. So it looks a little more clean, less clutter, and it's lighter. And only, and then the last thing is, you remember how I, I painted over the switch there in the, where the ball lock is? Um, I'm going to get a universal Clifford protector, it's the long one. I'm going to put it there, again it's going to match the whole silver, black, red uh, motif. And that's going to be there, and I'm done. And, and then again, eventually I want a keychain for all my games, but that's later. So it's been a beautiful restore. It's gone through so successfully. I'm so happy with it. I'm learning as I go. Again, it's it's fun. It works. Everything's uh, taken care of. I think everything's tasteful. What do you guys think? Leave your comments below and see what you guys thought of the restore. Did I overdo some things? Did I underdo some things? Well, come on now. That's not possible, but, you know, how did everything go? And uh, let me know what you feel. Um, next videos, uh, we're going to just continue on again, uh, trying our best to review what we can, maybe do some on-the-road videos and other things as well. If you guys have any questions for me, let me know. Again, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for checking out Top Tier. It's always been a pleasure. Take care. Peace. Lion Man!